Hi guys, welcome back to another doll progress vlog. So it's currently June and I'm finally making another doll vlog in like two weeks. And since it's still Pride Month, I decided to create these characters from Heaven Official's Blessings since I believe they are associated with BL. And I'm now creating the guy in the white outfit. I don't wanna like butcher his name. And here is his base body. Super simple, I'm starting off with white for the legs. It's all completely white at the bottom. I gave him this little extra skirt layer to attach to the bottom and I know there's supposed to be like a couple of layers at the bottom but I decided to just add one on the front and there's like a little slit on the side right here. Then I worked up on the body which is like pretty much all white. His head I'm using skin color and for the eyes I gave him this gold yarn which is called honey for the iris and he has black eyelids which I'm using the pointy cornered eyes and this is what his body currently looks like. Hi guys welcome back to another progress update. So starting off with the arms right here, I created regular arms for him. He has all skin for the entire arm and that goes for both arms. Then I took this true gray yarn and I simply wrapped it around at the bottom of the arms to create this bandages. Now I believe the bandages are white but I'm using gray just so it can show on the doll and everything won't blend all the way in. And I also did the same thing around the neck area. I stirred off on the back side and then I wrapped around the true gray yarn a couple of times that creates the bandages that he has around his neck. Next, I added on this little belt area. Around his waist, he has this gray little belt that keeps the outfit together and closed. So I went ahead and did that with true gray as well. I simply wrapped it around the doll and then I glued it on. Then I took this blue yarn and I tried to tie it around his waist on top of the belt and it creates the little ribbon detail. Then I took the white yarn and I tried to like do some little outlines of the shirt just so it can like create this illusion that he has like little layers on top of his body so <laughs> clothing illusions right here try to like sew it around multiple times there's no actual instructions to this but yeah it looks like he has a y on his chest and that kind of shows like how the shirt folds over itself and i am now concluding this with the sleeves which are removable course both of them are the same and I simply like slid it on and that creates the illusion that he's wearing a long outfit and the next part of course I'm using toasted almonds for his hair cap it's four inner rounds and four outer rounds since he's gonna have long hair and yeah I'll be back with the next update hi guys welcome back to the second to last update for his hair so what I did was first add on these little bangs he has bented bangs so I used 12 chains for both sides right here and I simply bent them down into place and I'm securing them on with these pins then he has these little strands on the front right here these are slip stitch strands which I'm placing right next to the eyes so it's pinned on right here both sides just like that so it looks pretty symmetrical and the next part I'm adding on right here is this little bun change the colors on this last round to create the illusion of a hair tie and I'll be using this little tail to sew it on around the hair cap and yeah this is the current update so far on the hair looks so nice like this i just kind of want to leave it like this and not do the rest of the hair but he does have longer hair strands that does come down so i will be adding that on next hi guys welcome back to the final update so this is the completed look for the guy in the white outfit and so now we're gonna head back to finishing up his hair and i'm using soft taupe for the color of the hair and the hair cap and on the very bottom right here these are half to crochet strands which there are five of them and i simply glue them along the bottom of the hair cap and this one is pretty much on the second to last bottom row and it goes along down and i tried to make them even as i could along the bottom side so he has like pretty much long hair at the bottom he has this man bun i guess that's what you would call it at the very top i changed the round for the very last round to white because he has like this ribbon that's like tied around his hair and i left like a couple of yarn strands right here that's supposed to be like the ends of the ribbons that are sticking out from the bun and that is pretty much it for his hair it's really easy I was going to fill up the rest of this with like eight chains, but I decided against that because I think it looks fine without it. You don't really need to fill it up since the hair cap pretty much does that for you. And I don't think it looks that bad without it. And even if I were to add on eight chains right here, it would just cover up the ribbon area. So this would totally be covered up and you can't even see it anyways when you're looking at it from the front view. And as far as the bun, I placed it on the third inner ring. So it's like one, two, and three. So place that on the very third inner ring right there. 
and it's on the middle so make sure that's like in the middle of it there we go so this is like the fourth ring right here this is the third it covers up the third one very nice it's just all simple and white and he looks like a freaking angel so cute he also has a hat that he wears i tried to make it but for some reason it wasn't working out and it wasn't really staying on his head because of his man bun so i decided to just leave it out instead and i actually prefer the way he looks without his hat and i don't feel like it's as important since he doesn't always wear the hat on his head so I think this is just fine, and I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out. So there it is, the back view, the side profile, the front side, and there is the other side. So yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the guy in the red outfit. Hi guys, welcome back to the next doll. So I'm now working on the guy in the red outfit. So starting off with his shoes, I am working with black because he wears like black boots, and I believe it changes to white pants underneath his red outfit so i made this all of it white and then i changed the colors to fire red right here i'm gonna go ahead and switch to this next clip to explain how i joined on this skirt flap area hi guys quick little reference so here is the little rectangle that i created for the back flap and in this part i'm joining it starting from the eighth stitch so here you just count two, four, six, and then on the eighth stitch, that's where I joined it. And here I'm continuing to single crochet, creating the 14th round. And this will continue to single crochet all the way around. And then once I've joined all of it, it should look like this, with this side being single crochet down, and this side's gonna be open, and there's gonna be like the front flap right here. That will be single crochet down. So that way there's like two little openings and here's the front flap that I just created and what I'm talking about this part is already single crochet together now we're just going to continue with the front flap right here and join it for round 14 which then creates this little slit on this side single crochet all the way right here and then we're going to join this at the end and single crochet all the way around to the very beginning and so now we're back with the base body I switched back up to the neck area, which I made it white because he does wear white underneath his outfit. And then the, his head is just all skin. I gave him one eye because he has an eye patch on this eye right here, which doesn't really show, so he's always covering it. So yeah, just one safety eye. I'm giving him the white iris because I believe his eye is black, but I'm not sure, so I'm just putting white there. And I'm giving him the cornered eyes because he's a more dominant character. I believe that's right, and he does look quite serious, so I'm giving him the cornered eyes for that one. And this is pretty much the base body so far. I'll be back with the next update. Hi guys, welcome back to the next update. So here's his outfit. I added on the belt, which I'm using silver to create the regular belt that I usually do in single crochet. And then I added on black outline, which I use fabric glue to place that down. And I think it looks pretty decent for the outline. It's so much better than sewing on the black outline like how I used to do it. And also for the arms right here, I started off with the skin color for the first round. Then I switched up to silver because I believe he has these metal silver clasp around his wrist. And then it switches back up to red. I was considering adding on fire red sleeves, but I figure he doesn't really need another layer and it looks pretty okay as it is. Then I added on this little black detail because I think he's wearing black underneath his arm sleeves and it kind of shows right there on his hand. Both arms are the same, it's identical. Then I took my silver lace yarn and I created this little necklace that he has on his chest. I tried to sew it on as best as I could, like closely to the outline as possible. His necklace consists of a silver butterfly and has these little dangling, I don't know what the right word is, those little dangling tinsels or lines <laughs> i don't know what the right word is but yeah that's what i did and this is pretty much the update so far he has black hair so i'm giving him black hair cap with four inner rounds and four outer rounds because he has long hair and yeah this is the current update so far back side there's the front again and i'll be back with the next update hi guys welcome back to another quick update on the hair so this little strand right here is a 12 chain which i went ahead and bent this part a little bit right here so that way this little strand can like go down this way and here is an eight chain right here followed by another eight chain placed down here and another little eight chain down here so that way he has little hair strands that sort of poke out kind of like that and this is the little blank space for the eye patch here's how i created the eye patch it kind of is supposed to look like a triangle it's supposed to be like a little bit pointy at the bottom and i left this little piece of strand that goes out this way 
because I'm going to be gluing on this eye patch right around here, something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and tuck this string in inside of the hair cap. It's just going to be simply poked in <laughs> and this part will be glued on. So that's how I'm doing this part right here. And then I'll be going ahead and attaching his longer strands of hair. So I'll be back with the next update. Here's another quick update on the hair. As I said earlier, this is the 12 chain. Here we have one 8 chain right here that goes over the eye patch. Here is another 8 chain on this side. And then we also have another 8 chain right here, which also curls out. This one also pokes out as well. I also added one more 8 chain right here because it's like a little bit bald right here. So I'm adding that right underneath the hair cap. Next to that is the chain H strand, which I'm hiding the little end right underneath this one, poking that one into the head, and then this one goes on top of it, which I'll glue down right here. This is supposed to be his braid. I'm leaving this braid on this side, just like that. And for the other side, we have the eight chain here, here, and here. This is a slip stitch strand because he has hair on the front side and I didn't want to use like a regular hair strand. So I'm using something really small and then for the front side, which is also on the side of the eight chains right here. It's kind of like stuck in between. After that, I added one more eight chain right here on this side. From here, we have the half double crochet strands, which creates the long hair on the back side. And I try to make it even as possible on the bottom part. So I pinned them down like that. And that is the current update so far. The hair cap will be filled up with all eight chains. So you can fill that up however you like. And this is the current update. Yo, welcome back to the very last update, which is my most favorite part. Finally, I'm done with the doll. Woo, everything is completed. So as I said before, I was going to fill up the rest of this head right here with eight chains. And that's exactly what I did. It's all completely filled up. Nice and even. And yeah, we have the little hair strands poking out right here, which are also eight chains as well. And I think it looks pretty good for his doll. I think it looks like him. What do you guys think? Pretty happy with how simple these dolls are. And I think I finished in time for Pride Month. Finally got a doll video out. Not a BL couple. And I'm still only in the middle of reading the first volume of this series. And here are both of the dolls together. I believe they are really highly shipped and I can't wait to get to the part where things actually happen. <laughs> and yeah, super awesome. I love the way they look. So adorable. Love it, love it, love it so much. Here's the back side, side profile. If you guys wanna know how to make your own anime style hairs, links to my Niki tutorial hair pattern in the description box below, along with my other base body patterns, as well as the little weeby doll that I used for the base. I am currently on 141 dolls, almost halfway to 200 dolls. A little bit behind on schedule, but I can't wait to get there. Hopefully I do by the end of the year. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.